We are now summing up the laws of photoelectric emission. The first one is the number of photoelectrons emitted that is the photoelectric current is proportional to the intensity of the incident radiation. The second one is the photoelectric emission is independent of the temperature of the cathode. The third one is the photoelectric emission does not take place if the frequency of the incident radiation is less than a critical value called threshold frequency whatever be the intensity. The photo emission takes place only when the frequency of the incident light is greater than the threshold frequency. The wavelength corresponding to threshold frequency is called threshold wavelength and varies from metal to metal. The photoelectric emission starts as soon as the light is incident on the metal. That is, there is no time lag, time gap between the incidence of the light on the metal and the emission of electrons. The fifth one is the velocity of photoelectrons is independent of the intensity of light incident and depends only on the frequency of the incident light and also depends on the nature of the metal. The kinetic energy of photoelectrons changes linearly with the frequency of the incident light and the graphs are you are viewing. Thus, the energy distribution of photoelectrons is independent of the intensity of light. The sixth one is the maximum velocity and the stopping potential are independent of the intensity of light but are found to be proportional to the frequency of the incident light for a given metal.